Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Take a look at a couple opportunities we had in gold today. Gold this morning, and this was during the London session, had consolidated, set up the bear flag, and then actually made a push lower into the US session. And then we left this big bottoming tail. The entire body of this bar was all buying. So this is a strong bullish hammer. And you can see the next bar left a little bottoming tail and then triggered that hammer with a really bullish bar. The entire body of this bar was all selling or all buying, pushed through all of our moving averages, pushed through all of our significant support and resistance. Because again, we know the 50 and the 200 are, are normally significant support and resistance. But this was just a really strong, strong move to the upside. Went up, hit our target. And then reversed, left this big topping tail. The entire body of this bar was all selling. Triggered in, this bar finished in a doji. Triggered this as a continuation doji to the downside. Ran down to support, made a little bounce. Came back down, bounced again, and then broke through. Closed down underneath support. Made a little pullback. Set up the bearish inflection on our momentum and then ran to the downside down into our target. So some really good opportunities in gold. Now this push higher was definitely counter trend. Everything on this chart at this time was actually leaning bearish. All your moving averages were stacked to the downside. Momentum was bearish. So taking the hammer was definitely a counter trend trade, but it ended up making a nice rip to the upside and then again reversed left the big topping tail bearish bar and then headed back the other way this is how that traded on our Renko chart this is where we were pushing down pushing down here's where we put in the bullish hammer we broke above our previous pivot high we had a little double top right here broke above that so at this point when we broke the little double top right there, that broke the downtrend. We didn't have an established uptrend until we put in the higher low. We had the higher high, put in the higher low. That's when that 30 minute hammer was triggering. And then we made a nice rip. Our target was up here at 1742.60. We actually ran higher than that. I think the actual high ended up being uh, 1744.80. But our initial target was 1742.60. Popped through that a little bit. And then this is where we left that shooting star. The big topping tail. The whole body was all selling. We broke through support broke the cloud, pulled back into the moving averages, set up our fast line zero touch, and then pushed down into our downside target. Our downside target was 1720.30, and I believe we hit that to the tick. Yeah, the low of that bar was 1720.30. So kind of a daily double here in gold. We hit our upside target, reversed, and then came down and hit our downside target. So some really, really nice opportunities in gold, you know, just depending on how you're trading it. Um, if you took the wick out of the cloud, that entry was at uh, around 1729.10. So that was a nice $1,300 rip plus to the upside if you stayed with it all the way into target. And then you had the reversal. And of course, you know, there's a little transition here. We like this setup where we blake break the cloud, come back into the moving averages, set up a wick and move down. So if you took the fast line zero touch, that triggered in at 17, probably 1733.90, somewhere in that neighborhood and uh, ran for another $1,300, potentially the other way. It just depends you know, how you're trading it, what your risk tolerances are. But um, these significant targets are target areas. We hit these very consistently. So we, when we're in a trade and these targets are within reach, we try to hold for these targets. So again, daily double in gold, nice opportunities for the day.